All right. In the last video, we kind of talked about uh, how there are exceptions to the octet rule. And in this video, I'm just going to kind of work some of those exceptions uh, out using the same guidelines. If you remember, the same guidelines that we use for uh, all of the compounds that do follow the octet rule. So in this video, I'm going to kind of work some of those out. We're going to go ahead and start with uh, uh, PF5. We've got P, oh, F5, P, F, 5. Now, if you remember, uh, one, of, uh, one of our also general uh, rules is that the central atom is the most metallic. So uh, fluorine is one of the most, you know, uh, non-metallic elements on the periodic table. So uh, phosphorus is going to be definitely more metallic than that. Um, so, we'll start with, uh, let me change colors for this here even. We'll do phosphorus with, uh, maybe we'll do yellow, with five uh, fluorines coming off of it. So we'll do uh, fluorine, 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 and a fluorine. Give myself kind of room. And they're all going to be connected by single bonds. A single bond at least a single bond, single bond, single bond, single bond, right? And let me draw that a little bit better. And this line just simply means that it is a single bond, right? Um, you know, because uh, this is the, you know, phosphorus connected by fluorine is the same thing as this, you know, in a double bond, which would just be two lines be the same thing as this, All right? Um, so anyway, and let me just make this line a little bit straighter. It's kind of bothering me. I guess I'm anal retentive like that. All right. And so we've got single bonds there. Now they're at least connected by single bonds. Now all I have to do is come over here and add up all my valence electrons. And I've got phosphorus, which is one, two, three, four, five valence electrons and fluorine, uh, which is seven. So we've got five for phosphorus, and we've got seven um, for fluorine, but there's uh, five of them, so it's going to be 35. Seven times five is 35. 35 electrons, five electrons. That's going to total 40 electrons total. 40 electrons total. All right. So we've got single bond there and I'm just gonna start with uh, the fluorine so we've got two electrons here four five six seven eight one two three four five six um, one two three four five six one two three four five six two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I've got uh, eight electrons here, uh, eight here, eight here, eight here, and eight here um, that they're sharing between phosphorus and fluorine here. So eight times five is uh, 40. So I've used all my electrons. This must be it. So I must be done. So this one was a little bit easier, but an important uh, observation here, right? Um, we followed our guide where phosphorus is the central atom but it ended up making um, phosphorus have more than eight electrons, right? Because phosphorus is really, and let me even just erase one of these lines here. This bond between the fluorines here and phosphorus really looks like that, right? It's uh, this fluorine here is sharing eight electrons, and this phosphorus here is sharing the same two electrons right there, right? So there's two electrons here, two between this single bond, this single bond, this single bond, this single bond. It has two, four, six, eight, ten valence electrons uh, like this. So phosphorus is going to have ten valence electrons. And the bond P, uh, P, F, Five. So that's how we just kind of went about uh, about doing it. 
an important uh, note to make here. It, you know, I, I originally went through and said they're going to have at least a single bond, but I really could have just said they're definitely going to have a single bond because fluorine is a halogen. And if you remember from our guide up here, uh, oh, I didn't scroll up far enough. Halogens do not like to form double or triple bonds. They'll only form a single bond. So we could have definitely said in that uh, halogen or that fluorine is going to be a single bond between phosphorus. So that was that one. Let's do another one. Um, and let's do, let's see here. What have I got? X E X E F four, I believe. Yeah, X E F four. So let's do this one. All right, and let's pull up the periodic table here. We've got fluorine and um, xenon down here. Right here, xenon. Um, xenon, and if you remember, as you go further across and down the periodic table, um, you you get increasingly more metallic. Uh, this is back a step, but it's really far down. Um, so xenon is going to actually be more metallic than fluorine because it's further down on on the uh, periodic table. Neither one of them are are all that terribly metallic, but xenon is more metallic than uh, fluorine. So Flor or, uh, xenon is going to be our central atom. Let me do xenon here. It's going to be our central atom, and we're going to have uh, four uh, fluorines coming off of it. So let's do a fluorine, a fluorine, a fluorine, and a fluorine. All right, and they're all going to be connected. I did lines on the last one. I'll do dots on this one just so that it's, uh, you know, possibly more uh, uh, easier to understand that these are just individual electrons in the line. So we've got at least a single bond there, single bond there, single bond there, single bond there. I know I can step back and say, oh, fluorine's a halogen, so that it's definitely going to be single bonds between these, uh, between fluorine and xenon. All right, now all I have to do is come over here and add up all my valence electrons with xenon um, and fluorine. So xenon is a group 8. It's going to have 8 valence electrons. Uh, and um, fluorine is going to have um, uh, 7. It's a group 7s, so and there's 4 of them, so it's going to be 28 electrons for uh, fluorine because there's uh, 4 of them there, 4 times 7. And we've got eight for xenon, eight electrons. So it's going to be 36, yeah, 36 total um, electrons for this configuration here. Um, so all I'm going to do now is I know fluorine, fluorine is not a third energy level um, or energy shell or energy period element. So it's probably going to only want eight valence electrons. I know that xenon is greater than an uh, energy three uh, shell or level or period, so it could possibly have more than 10 electrons. So when I add in, I've used two, four, six, eight electrons thus far. When I add in the other 28 electrons here, I'm probably not going to need to put any more around xenon unless I have to, so I'm gonna fill up my uh, fluorine um, uh, electrons first. So when I go in and add these around here, I've got two here. I'm just going to make as many octets as I can out of fluorine. An octet here. Octet there. Make an octet here. Make an octet here. All right, so I filled octets here. So I've got eight here, eight here, eight here, and eight here. Eight times four is 32. Uh, so I have four more electrons that I need to uh, that I need to do. Now, typically, you might be tempted to say, "Oh, well, I'll just do uh, you know, I'll redo this and do maybe some double bonds or maybe something like that." Or I messed up somewhere when in fact you didn't. All right, you're just going to add these um, extra four electrons to xenon. One, two, 
three, four. And that's how it's going to look. Xenon's going to have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve valence electrons total. Electrons. That's a xenon. We'll have twelve valence electrons. And, and basically, kind of how all this is working, um, and I'm going to do a video in the near future kind of explaining this better, uh, but there's, uh, what is it, six... Uh, 5p, the 5p d orbitals on xenon here are housing those extra electrons. There's more room for them there. And that's how uh, it's remaining stable uh, by doing this and avoiding the octet rule um, and having uh, 12 valence electrons. Um, so I've just about used up all my time now for this video. I'm going to do another video kind of working through some more of these just so you have a really good and firm uh, idea on how you can still use uh, these uh, guidelines is kind of universal uh, guidelines and just add this last concept in there um, to kind of make it uh, make sense and still use these.